So you have a kid going to BYU or you're just interested in investing by BYU. Then this video is for you. My name is Grant Evans. I'm your favorite Utah realtor and we're gonna getting started right now. Hey everyone, if you're new to the channel, remember to please like and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all things Utah real estate. When purchasing a piece of property that is going to have BYU students in it, you want to research a few things. The first thing is the policy. I've copied the BYU housing policy in the description below for your reference, but I'm going to summarize it a little bit in this video. The first thing is that if a student is coming to BYU for the first two semesters, they need to be staying in BYU contracted housing, whether that's off campus or on campus or with family, those things are okay. But if you are a new student coming to BYU, you need to stay on those places. And if it's off campus and non BYU contracted, then you cannot live there for the first two semesters. This also applies to transfer students who are matriculated, meaning that they're already in a degree seeking program. If you are going to be living with family, that is okay. Uh, certain criteria that involves living with family is like your parents, your grandparents, an aunt and uncle, um, a married brother, a married sister or even siblings that are uh, blood related as well. Any potential exception to the rules need to be approved by BYU off-campus housing. Single matriculated students are eligible to live on BYU off-campus and on-campus housing, but it's not required. As an investor, that can be something to consider when investing close to BYU. Do you want to be BYU contracted or non-BYU contracted? If you are BYU contracted, there are a few things that the school will have on your side. You will have a BYU uh, student landlord agreement that I've also left in the description below. And that just says everybody's gonna do their job. And what I like about it is that the school will have your back in case any problems arise. However, this is more common to people who own apartment complexes close to BYU. And could be harder to get if you're not a corporation or an LLC uh, owning an apartment building and just own a single family dwelling. The second rule that you need to understand as a landlord is that BYU students need to live in sex separated households. Meaning that the apartment or the house is either all boys or all girls. Now this is an exception if you are living with a sibling. This is applicable to all people who are non-BYU contracted living in off-campus housing. If you have a brother and sister living together, another person who is not related cannot live with them. Again, any exceptions to the rule have to be approved by BOU off-campus housing. Let's say that you are living with people of the same sex and somebody decides to bring in a member of the opposite sex to move in with them you as the individual at BYU need to find more housing at your own accord. In the description below, I have also put in the off-campus housing handbook for landlords. To be BYU contracted, you do have to jump through a few more hoops like uh, filling out a form saying that you want to be BYU contracted and also filling out the student landlord agreement. If you do not want to be BYU contracted, you want to be non-BYU contracted, then there are fewer hoops to jump through. You can make your own rental agreement uh, for whatever needs that you want. If you want a proper manager to make it for you, that is also fine. The only downside is that you won't have the university's backing for when problems arise and that'll be you and your own dollar that'll be paying for any attorney fees that might happen. For off-campus, non-BYU contracted, you do not have to furnish the apartment, although I would recommend it in order to kind of up the rents a little bit and make some more money off the tenants. If you are BYU contracted housing, it is required to furnish your place. Now let's talk about rent. The average price that a student will pay for a shared room at Provo or anywhere surrounding is about $550 per month. Of my own personal experience, I rented out my four bed, three and a half bath house in Springville, which is about 10 minutes south of BYU, uh, to eight boys. It was rented out for $2,700 a month and so that was a steal for the boys. That was only a, a total of about $337 per month for each individual. Even though the boys were definitely getting a steal of a deal, I myself as a landlord was making quite a bit of money from what I thought I could get if I just rented it out to family members. They weren't as clean as maybe families, uh, but I received more money that way than I thought I could at the time doing it the traditional way. Buying an investment property by BYU can bring in a lot of money, but you wanna make sure you figure out the numbers and you make sure that you are cash flowing enough to make it worth your while. I work with four different lenders that can definitely help out with figuring out if a certain property matches the criteria. We can see what the average rent is in the area 
and see if you could cash flow positively and see what the projected appreciation will be in the next few years to make it worth your while. In summary, we can offer a lot of options to you if you are interested in investing by BYU. If you are thinking of buying a place by BYU and potentially rent it out, send me an email that I've left in the description below and I'm happy to help anytime. I love talking to people uh, through YouTube and I just think it's so fun. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel for all things Utah real estate. And remember to share this video with a friend who's thinking of going to BYU. Thanks for watching.